the rally in Madison Square Garden is kind of the pivot into today, right? Sunday night into today. So the candidates are campaigning out in battleground states. Democrats and the press very focused on the, the rally as a turning point in the race to really galvanize uh, the base and also undecided voters against Donald Trump because of the tone and some of the remarks made at the rally. That's their, not just their spin, that's their actual view of what's happening. And on the other side, it's seen the Trump folks see this as an incredibly successful event to rally the base, make a lot of statements, uh, uh, for, uh, project, project a united front. And they believe that every day Kamala Harris spends talking about fascism is a day she's not talking about the kind of issues that might allow her to win the race. So both sides see, see yesterday very differently, but there's no doubt that's dominating today. And if you go on the website of the New York Times today, you'll see a lot of stories about the rally and how this is, you know, foreshadowing doom for the Trump campaign. And and the campaign's playing off of that, okay? Um, as we've said before, the, the Harris closing message is a three-headed beast. Fascism, Trump is un, unhinged, all of those issues. Abortion rights and um, uh, the economy broadly defined. And you're going to see all three messages in the public square, but unless you're really closely monitoring television ads or digital ads or other forms of communication, you're not necessarily going to see them. The press is most interested in first in currently in fascism unhinged, second in abortion and third in economics. And so, you know, campaigns, you know, sometimes get criticized too many messages. They're using all three. That's not that's like, like overload. Uh, but you're not always going to know which ones voters are getting. Earn media matters most. And one reason even though the data in some quarters, certainly in the Republican data, but even some Democratic data, and you saw this in a New York Times story over the weekend, suggests fascism is not a winning argument, particularly if it's wholly untethered from the real lives of real people. Why would the Harris campaign be pushing it anyway? Because they believe that playing off the news is a really good thing, okay? Playing off the news means you're, you're going to get pick up for what you do. So the Harris campaign today, all surrogates out there talking about about the rally and about the, the jokes that were offensive to many. 